I listened to Katy Perry's new song so you don't have to. So Katy Perry just made her long anticipated return with her brand new song Woman's World. And along with the song she actually dropped a music video so I'm gonna talk about that as well. Before I get into this trigger warning, I'm not a Katy Perry hater. I like to like stuff okay? I'm not trying to be negative. So first off let's talk about the song. It's actually a pretty short song. I was a little bit surprised by this. As a pretty largely anticipated comeback I'd expect there to be a little more meat on the bone. But outside of the pre-chorus and chorus to the track the verses are actually extremely short and this was a bit disappointing to me. I understand that it's pop but as a songwriter myself I really want to dive in a little deeper. Just because the intention is to make something that's so wide stream appealing doesn't mean you have to dumb it down so much. I feel like writing a song called Woman's World and trying to approach this topic is something that could be really cool to explore. It's a pretty deep subject so I feel like there would be a lot you could say on a song like this but by the time we reach the end I feel like nothing was said whatsoever. It definitely feels a little sarcastic and tongue in cheek but I just don't think it lands at all. There's not even an intro or a bridge or outro to the song. It's literally just two verses, the pre-chorus and chorus. The production overall is also kind of 2D and flat. It's just not really interesting. This is Katy Perry we're talking about, somebody who has had hit after hit. And definitely if you go back and listen to some of those songs, I don't think they've aged perfectly. But music and pop has changed over the decades and it's not the same way it used to be. For example, I think of artists like Billie Eilish or Olivia Rodrigo who are able to do a mainstream appealing song but yet have so much to say. They do a really good job of making the songs feel like themselves. But I think that this is probably because they're so involved in the writing process. So overall, I'm just not really a fan of the song. I feel like they really dropped the ball on this. There was like this fake AI version of the song that leaked and a lot of people were like, I hope the real song doesn't sound like this. And honestly, it wasn't that different. But let's talk about the video too. So the video is pretty clearly just riddled with irony. And when I watch it, I can see conceptually what they were trying to do. They're trying to be really ironic and do everything that you would think is a stereotype. But I just think the whole thing is pretty messy. Basically, if you take a time machine to the 2010s, pick up Katy Perry and bring her to the modern day and tell her quick, there's no time to explain. You have to do this music video for the boys. I feel like this is exactly what we would get. It comes across so unserious and messy that it feels like a parody, but that in itself can be something good if it's executed right. But I feel like that the song itself is also so two dimensional that it doesn't pair that well, because if that lacking substance was in the song, you could pair the two together and I could see it working out, but it kind of feels like they got lost in the sauce and ended up becoming exactly what they're trying to criticize. I mean, this video is all over the place. It jumps through like three or four different scenes and it seems like it's trying to have a narrative, but it's so hard to tell. There's flashes of text on the screen. There's Trisha Paytas in the video. There's somebody filming a TikTok dance and Katy Perry jumps into it. It literally feels like a Black Mirror episode, which I feel like is what they were trying to do, but for some reason it just doesn't hit. I want to hear some more substance from Katy. I want to hear what her music sounds like 10 years later, because she is definitely not the person she was before. And it just feels like we're kind of taking a step backwards. People have moved on from that era of pop and the competition and what people are putting out now is a lot different than back then. Of course, there's a lot of nostalgia for people. Don't get me wrong. I love firework too. But in an era where we have people making amazing music from their bedroom, for somebody that's such a popular name and has been in the scene so long, I know she's capable of more. It's pretty obvious that this is the beginning of an album rollout. And just by the whole approach of this thing, I think they're trying to do something that a lot of people are going to talk about. But it feels so desperate at that attention that they're willing to do anything to make it happen. But I want to end this on a positive note and say that if I have any advice for her and her team, it would be to maybe step back, reapproach, work on some new music, and really try to dig a bit deeper, see what you can do that's different than back then. The whole thing just comes across as a little bit immature and a little too playful. And especially when I think it's a topic that you can say so much about and it can be a very serious thing. It just didn't work for me. But let me know your thoughts. Maybe you feel completely differently. Most of the people that get recommended these videos actually aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoyed, hit that button. Yeah, peace out.